Hey, it's Patrick. I'm back with another tech tip. Today we're talking about brake fluid. What should you use? What can you mix? What's going to eat your paint? Just some good basics you should know about your brake fluid. Let's flip this camera around and take a closer look. All right, we're going to talk in some generalities here, but basically uh, cover as much as we can. We have .3, .4, .5, and .5.1. So basically the only one silicone base is .5. These are all glycol ester based, meaning 3, 4, 5.1, will eat your paint rather quickly. If you're bleeding your brakes, make sure you keep that off your painted surfaces. Uh, the silicone one, not so much. These three technically could be mixed, all, although it's a good idea to kind of move up when set, if you're replacing like three, replace it with four, so on and so forth. The best rule of thumb is to read what it says on your master cylinder, replace your fluid with that. Basically the boiling points of these get higher and higher, which is a good thing as you go down the line, like four is higher than three, five is higher than four, so on and so forth. And that's good because you want your brakes to operate at hot temperature without boiling, because that's when you're going to have a brake failure. Uh, generally speaking, three kind of absorbs less water than four, but has a lower boiling point, and then you have the higher boiling points as you go along there. Just good, quick brake fluid knowledge for you, but refer to that service manual or the top of that master cylinder.